It's my first international trip after over three years. And to be in India is excellent. And to be presenting on this topic is always exciting. So the topic today is achieving sustainability goals with barrier-based buildings. Water-based barrier buildings. And where I like to start in the discussions is how do we know the why? And I started to laugh and I started to present my slide because it's all around us. But just looking, we have this screen, we all know about the piles of numbers of rubbish, we all know about the plastic waste in the sea, we all friend about the polar bears. When I talk about these things, I like to think of these as the rational line. I like to pause for a second and tell you what I think of as my personal line. Um, it's why there's passion in this topic for me, why there's passion in this topic for the people I work with. And it's about what drives us and what gets us up in the morning and what makes us really move. So I've been able to travel extensively around the world and I've been able to travel extensively in India. And I was here a few years ago in Jagpur and Naipur and they're, they're beautiful places. And then I'm there with my family and then driving in between these places on the ground, what do we see? We see plastic waste and plastic rubbish all around us. And it's not just about India, we see it all around the world. And it's my children that really look at me, they're 10 and 13 years old, they look at me and say, why? And they know what I do, and they say, what are you going to do about it? And I get this every trip I have. So when I think about what my personal why is, I'd ask you to think about what your personal why is, because it's more moving for me than just looking at the, the normal things we look at. All right, so some facts, and I think you know many of these already. In India, there's around 62 million tons of waste each year. 70% of that is collected. And of that amount that's collected, only 20% is recycled. And why is that? Well, they collect things that are worth money here. So the things on the left-hand side of the page, you have glass and metal, you have pet bottles, newspapers, milk pouches. But then there's a lot that's not collected. And you can think of multi-layer packaging or single-use plastic bags. So how do we do this? What do we solve for here? Sustainability. You've all seen all these things before. It's increasing in importance. You have a consumer awareness. You have conscious capitalism. And whether that's your shareholders or whether that's your associates are all demanding this of you. You've got regulatory demands that are increasing. And you have producer responsibilities. So what's happening here in India right now? There's some new legislation that's coming that's forcing a switch from plastics to paper. It's a plastic waste management directive. It comes into a force on 1st of January, and it's a ban on single-use plastics. I think that what's fun for me in this is that it's actually more advanced in India than other parts of the world that I get to travel to. And some of the solutions we're developing in India, we're actually exporting to other parts of the world. And I find that uh, inspiring, and I think it's a lot model that we like to continue doing. So what's the solution to this? It's to work more with paper, it's to work with paper in such a way that you can deal with its porous substrate and we have barrier and functional coatings that can help you to achieve this. As an example, um, major brands are making announcements that they're going to move out of uh, George Recycle One reusable packaging by 2025. I think this is the Nestle Yes has made that announcement. So barrier coatings as a way to do this. Barrier coatings can um, improve the properties of repulpability, they can get improved shelf life, they're environmentally friendly, and in some cases they're compostable. My favorite example in India right now is where we started to use these e-commerce bags. Um, they're environmentally friendly, they eliminate the plastic bags, they're heat sealable, water repellent, oil and grease resistant, they provide oxygen and vapor barrier, and they're FDA compliant, so they're food contact compliant. We're selling these products actively right now. Again, the different ways you can look at our product range that helps you get there. These are some things, products we sell for oil and grease resistance. I think the one on the left is a sandwich. The one in the middle is a water repellent coating for a fruit. And the one on the right is some PE replacement. And the PE replacement, the best way to think of that one is um, a cup for coffee. If you can take out the uh, PE and you put on a Michelin based coating, you can have the cup be more compostable.
the portfolio of products we have here is growing and extending. They're certified. We certify with the Biodegradable uh, Products Institute, BPI. Um, they're PFAS free, recyclable. We've won some awards in India. So I think one of them was the India Flexible Packaging and Folding Cartons Association. And again, they're providing water and oil and grease resistance and other type of protective properties. So the invitation from my side is we have a collaboration center in Mumbai. It's a state of the art packaging incubator and it's open to mills, converters, film manufacturers and brand owners. We do sustainable water-based green chemistry there and it's there to do rapid prototyping. So my request of you today is twofold really. One, our purpose statement is to innovate a sustainable future. I'd love for you to come to tell us about your problems. We're in booth J30. And when you come, I'd also love to hear about your why, of why you'd like to uh, move towards more sustainability. Thank you.